Good morning, guys. Welcome to the But First Coffee Wake Up Call. I'm Kelly Greenell. I am your life and mindset coach, focusing on helping you balance the things that you want to do, taking care of yourself along with the responsibilities of being a mom, having a job, being a spouse, and really learning that you can live the life that you want to live and enjoy it right now. You don't need to wait for the kids to grow up, for that promotion, for the job you wanted, to win the lottery, whatever it is you tell yourself you are waiting for before you can be happy and enjoying your life, we don't have to wait. So this week we've been talking about nutrition and what we're eating and how that's part of our self-care and how much that affects us. So we've talked a little bit about how uh, what's in our fridge is actually a good indicator of how we treat our finances and our bank account. Uh, we talked a little bit on Wednesday um, about emotional eating and how all of us are actually emotional eaters on some level and two of the important things to know about that and how to handle that so you can re scroll on back to watch the uh, replay if you didn't catch that live. And uh, today we're talking about how the choices that you're making relating to your food are part of your self-care. It's part of how you choose to take care of yourself. And so often we get so busy with the things that we're doing with our family, taking kids to activities, with work. We're constantly rushing from place to place to place to place, doing all this stuff. We have so much to get done that we let our food choices and our nutrition you know, go to the wayside and we'll make some choices that aren't so great and we'll, you know, stop at McDonald's and grab dinner or fast food of some kind or eat pizza on a whim and really eat like, you know, six, seven, eight pieces of pizza. Um, and I'm not by any means telling you to be perfect. I am not perfect with what I eat and what I choose and what happens when we do get in a rush or when uh, I accidentally burn the burgers on the grill and you know there are <laughs> charcoal pieces that are left. You know, then what do you do? Um, it's not about being perfect. Again, it's about the balance. But what I want you to be aware of is that what you're choosing to eat is a choice for you and it's a form of your self-care because what we eat affects us on a huge level. So there's a lot of times when I've gone on vacation or around the holidays and I really let bad habits sort of creep up on me and I eat a lot more than I should of, um, uh, for me, anything like all the breads and sweets and sugars, a lot of pastas, like the cookies, um, I will generally eat less vegetables. So I've got like six pieces of pizza and no salad or um, eating out all the time and getting, you know, going to Buffalo Wild Wings and getting the chicken wrap and getting the fried chicken and it's got a ton of cheese and the tortillas. And um, when those things start to accumulate and I do them a lot in, an, in a row and make those choices, I know that I feel tired, yet I still have trouble sleeping. I get a little bit more irritable and angry and upset on things than um, normal. Little things sort of annoy me a lot more than normal. You know, hearing somebody breathe or hearing somebody chew really gets to me a lot more than it normally does. Um, little things like that about myself. Like I've, I'm have i not so motivated. It's harder for me to get up in the morning. Um, I want to sleep longer, but I'm really not sleeping all that great. Uh, my I'm choosing to put relationships on the back burner. My parenting is kind of slacking. I get sucked into social media a lot easier. I tend to watch more TV or movies than I normally would. Uh, not as motivated to do things for my business. And I'm aware of those things now because I've seen on the other side what it's like when I eat really well, when I take care of myself and truly honor what my body needs from me. So when I'm eating the vegetables I need, and typically I eat a lot of vegetables at breakfast just to get it over with. Um, I'll saute a bunch and shove them in my face and just be done with a good portion of vegetables for the day. Um, when I'm eating good vegetables, when I'm eating you know, leaner meats, when I'm not eating breads and um, like pastas and wheat things, because I know that does have a negative effect on me, dairy affects me negatively, so when I cut a lot of that out, um, and when I'm drinking a lot of water rather than a lot of coffee, even though we're on the butt first coffee, wake up call. I know what it feels like when I do that stuff. I wake up feeling energetic. I sleep fantastic. I'm happier. I'm more productive. I'm more focused. I have more motivation. Um, I know that my body's healthier. My digestion is regular. Uh, my skin doesn't break out. Um, like I know all of those things because I've experienced them. So what I thought was normal, what I thought was just how I was, 
was actually because I really wasn't taking care of myself as good as I should be. Now, I'm not, I found the balance, right? I found this point of I can eat really well and then still have a dessert, still eat this there, still plan that night out to eat, but I can also feel when I start to go too far in that direction. And I'm aware of that now, right? We talk a lot about the self-awareness. So what I want you to take away from this is start paying attention to the way that you're eating and how it makes you feel, how it affects you. Take four days and be like, I'm gonna try eating really healthy and I'm gonna plan meals and I'm gonna eat this. Now, a lot of people will tell me, I don't have the money, eating healthy is expensive. Okay, it's not. That's a total misconception and a misbelief and something that people use as an excuse. I grocery shop for the family of four. My two kids, my husband and I. My kids pack a lunch every day. My husband takes a lunch to work when he does work, or I, and I work from home, so I eat my meals at home. We have a dog and a cat. And for a full week of food, of meals, three meals a day, plus some snacks, plus the kids' lunches and snacks for school, um, plus dog food, plus cat food, was $200, okay, for six days of three meals a day plus snacks for everybody. So you take away the dog food, you take away the cat food, and I took some cash back at that point because I needed to pay for something else later that day. And what it came down to was $6 a day per person. $6 a day for three meals plus snacks, all healthy per person. Now you could go to Subway and get a $5 foot, do foot right? The $5 foot long, and you've got a halfway decent healthy meal but that's one meal. Now, there's no way that you can tell me that eating healthy is expensive because not only is our grocery shopping really reasonable, but we also don't go to the doctor and we don't buy medications and we don't buy over-the-counter cough syrups and we don't even buy Advil anymore except to have it on hand just in case the off chance somebody bonks their head and they've got a headache. Like, we don't buy that stuff anymore. So think about the money that you're spending on all of that. Like, and ladies, let's be super honest. PMS is a hell of a lot easier and less. And menstruation is a lot less when you're taking care of yourself because your body will respond differently. So if you've got issues in that area of your life, change the way that you're eating. If you've got skin issues and you're breaking out all the time and irritations all the time, change the way that you're eating. That was how I discovered that I have issues with wheat and dairy because I actually break out in a rash in various places. Like my ears used to react to earrings. We thought I had to buy 24 karat gold. I remember going to get my ears pierced and I'm telling my mom, you're going to have to buy her 24 karat gold earrings because they're gonna irritate her if they're any less. It turns out they irritate me because I was eating crap food and things were not right internally because of the wheat, because of the dairy in my body. I actually have a rash on my finger right now underneath my wedding bands and my engagement ring because I've been eating too much dairy and too much wheat for my system. Like, start to pay attention to what you are eating and how it's making you feel because the way that you feel might not be normal for you. It's normal because that's what you're choosing. Pay attention, you know, like I said, take four days and try it out. Eat really good for four days. And if you don't know what that looks like, then send me a message and I can help you create four days of meals for yourself so you know what's good. Because it's not just living on salad, right? It's not starvation. It's not cutting out food and it's not depriving yourself. Your body needs care. It needs nourishment. And that affects us on every single level from how our body functions, how our digestion works, how our mood is, how we process chemicals that are built up in our system, how you fight off colds and diseases and the flu, um, you know, and, and our hormones. Like what we feed our body is what our body uses for fuel to create the things that it needs from our hormones. So all this hormonal stuff that's happening in the world and to our children that are being affected on all different levels and all of these allergies that are now apparent, it's because of the crap that is built up in our bodies because we're not caring for ourselves. We're not taking that something so simple as choosing to eat two pieces of pizza and a salad instead of just six pieces of pizza, 
Like something that simple could make a huge difference for you and how you feel and how you're functioning and what you're bringing into your life and what you're able to give to other people, right? So you want a better marriage, you want to be a better parent, you want to be able to give more to your job and perform better, you want to grow a business that you love, then start paying attention to what you're eating. That is the foundational piece of self-care, what you are ingesting, both mentally and physically. And we'll talk about mental stuff later, but this week is about what you're eating, your nutrition, the food. Pay attention to that stuff, how it makes you feel. What have you been eating lately? Like, why are you not sleeping well? And what are you ingesting? Like, I know I love coffee, but I can't have coffee past like noon or I'm up till 3 a.m. No matter how small of a cup it is that I have, because I know how that affects my body. Because I choose to care for myself, I don't do that. I don't drink caffeine up until 6 p.m. and then wonder why I sleep with shit. I take care of myself. I pay attention. It's a level of self-awareness. So when clients come to me and they're talking about, you know, I want to lose this weight. I want to, um, you know, I'm, I've got all these hormonal issues and these health issues and my knees hurt and blah, blah, blah. Like it comes down to foundationally how you take care of yourself. And what we eat is a choice that we can control. Even when you are in a hurry and in a rush and you feel like you're starving, you know what? You are not going to starve because you waited two hours to eat something. You can make the better choice. You can choose to take care of yourself. You have that ability. And if you've got a situation where things, you feel like you can't control it and you've got all these like, well, yeah, but Kelly, you don't get it. I've got blah, 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 blah. Then send me a message and tell me about it. Come and prove me wrong if you want to, or be willing to hear a solution because there is a solution to the problems that we have and the struggles that we're dealing with. So this weekend, pay attention to what you're eating and know that it is a choice every time you put something into your body. It is your choice. It is your decision and you are the one in control of what you're eating and what it's doing to you. So pay attention and start raising your self-awareness around that and take better care of yourself. And like I said, it's not about being perfect. It's not about only eating salads or starvation or deprivation. I am all about balance in everything that I talk about with you guys. I eat Oreo cookies. I eat desserts. I drink beer. I drink wine. Like, But I balance it and I know how it affects me. So I don't wonder why things are all chaotic and a mess and why I'm angry and irritable and unproductive and unmotivated. I'm aware of the choices that I've been making and know that those are things why. So pay attention to what you're eating this weekend and how it affects you. And we will talk to you Monday morning on another wake-up call. Bye, guys.